Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down this Grateful Dead tune right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, also real quick, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel here. And then also if you check out the, uh, you know, in the description below, I've got links to all kinds of great resources for you. And I appreciate that extra support. So thank you for supporting Marty Music. Let's break it down. All right, I'm gonna start with this opening here. The uh, first guitar, I believe Jerry. <laughs> So that's revolving around a G right there. So those first two notes, that's a octave of G. So third fret on the E and fifth fret on the D string. And then three five hammer on the A string and then three on the D string. It's all together. And then three five a and D, so. And some of these are ghost notes, you know, and then also they play their songs differently. I'm going from a live version right now. So it alternates between those two parts. The first one we did. The second part starts the same way. Then does that to the third fret on the D instead of fifth fret. So then the other guitar during that part is this little grip right here, which is from G major or this G shape. However you look at it, you've got this little bar across the 12th fret on the D, G, and B. And we're also going to be doing that on the, uh, you know. It's all in that G mixolydian and G major pentatonic box right there. So, so far. And then with that. So if you have G and F right there, you can do it with one finger. And I'm really emphasizing the G and B string there, right there. But then you also have this box, which looks exactly the same as the E minor pentatonic. It's also the G major pentatonic. Brothers E as well as the Grateful Dead. So we've got those first two things in the intro, and then it goes into what I would say is the signature lick. So the main phrase So 13 on the B pulled off to 12, then 14 on the G pulled off to 12 on the G. And then we're just flattening our index finger over to get the 12 of the D string. Hopping right back over to the B string, 12, 13, 15. 
you double up on that 15. So from the top of the phrase. Now back to 12 to 13 on the B. So dun, then 13 pull up. And then right back to 14 to 12 on the G. And then from there, we're gonna switch our middle finger to the 14 of the G, because we're gonna play these little major triads right here. So that comes from an F major. And so we're playing 14 on the G, 13 on the B, 13 on the high E. And then moving that up a whole step and plucking the G, B, high E again. And when you hit that high E, your ring finger goes to 17 and slides up to 19. And you put that whole phrase together again. So that part is played during the singing verse. You know, it's just really just kind of grooving between the G and the F. And you can play the little single part over that. The bass is really emphasizing the G back to F, but then the um, just you know. That's just all over G, G major pentatonic, emphasizing the chord tones. And then D7, it's all, you can think of it as D mixolydian over that whole D7. Because he's noodling over that whole thing in D mixolydian. Uh, not exactly like that, but just... Etc. So the little the little hits after the D seven C D back to G. And then you go to D7, and it noodles over that D mixolydian. And then finally hits on C, D, bump, bottom, bottom, which the melody is all from from G mixolydian. So then it does switch, uh, it, it switches keys and it goes to E. So after the whole thing through again. And the riff. So 
So all you got to do, you don't have to change anything. You just got to shift it, the main riff from here, down a, what would be called down a minor third. You're in the, in, in the E major zone. So you're just playing the exact same thing, but now in a different key. So you're barring across the ninth fret. So that's all the exact same thing, just down uh, one, two, three, four frets. So you're across the ninth there, the arpeggios are 11, 10, 10, up a whole step. And then when you would eventually get to the hits, to G. All the way back through through that. As far as like learning new parts, you know, you, you want to listen to different live versions. Oh yeah, and also, so when it goes up to E, it's just the same like jam too. So it's like, now we're just in the E. And then it would go to B7 and they jam on B7, B mixolydian. You know, just everything's been transposed. It's and then right back to G. And then it jams in D and usually transitions from there. But if you were to be wanting to play this or work on it, what you the main things you really want are the the lesson really appreciate your support thank you so much if you haven't yet love for you to subscribe to the channel feel free to request stuff in the comments below and then in the description below i've got links and other killer resources so check those out thanks again hope to see you later